Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com here with a 30 for 30 Lightroom quick tip video brought to you by the fine people over at Adobe. If you want to follow along, you can go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You can download a free trial of Lightroom so that you can play along with all of the videos that we're making. And let's get into it. Here's a quick tip for how to make Lightroom more about you, AKA the identity plate. Now I already have my face on everything. Why not have it on my Lightroom, Adam? How can we make my face appear in Lightroom. Okay, very, very easy to customize your identity plate, which is this region right here at the top left of your screen. You either go into the Lightroom menu and you go into identity plate setup, or you can very easily just right click right in that region and go edit identity plate. You know, you know what's funny? I didn't even know this was here for a long time because it's, you know, it's good for Lightroom. It's like, oh, it's branded Lightroom, but the point is, if we're on set with a client or you're making your own videos on the internet, it'd be cool to have your own branding and identity there. Absolutely, it's a very nice touch. So it's very easy. You go to the Lightroom menu and you can select Identity Plate Setup or you can just right click in that region and go to Edit Identity Plate. From there, you select Personalized and that will give you the option to either put in a text stylized identity plate or in this case, we want to put in a graphical image that's branded. So we say use a graphical identity plate and you just you can drag it right in there or you can just locate it. We have ours on our desktop and we're just going to select it and choose it, hit OK and boom, there's your logo. Right, so for those of you on a Mac, you would set it to 41 pixels at its height. On a PC, you would set it to 46 pixels in order to get this identity plate to work. Now, this is a cool thing to, a cool thing to have. You put your face in there, you put whatever brand in there that you want because it's great for a client to see it, but honestly, it makes it feel more like your own type of program now that you can put your face or your logo or your text in the top left-hand corner. So that is another quick tip as part of the 30 for 30 Lightroom edition. Now, if you haven't checked out all the videos, you can go to fronosphoto.com slash LR3030. You could also download a free trial of Lightroom and try it out for yourself so you can play along with everything that we're doing, but that is it. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.